Welcome to Talk It Out Tuesday with Crisis Support Services of Nevada. I'm Connie Ray, and in the last year with the COVID pandemic, social unrest, election chaos, and financial instability, everyone is feeling stressed and anxious right now. When we talk about behavioral health in Nevada, the discussion usually revolves around the lack of services. And in this 13th episode of Talk It Out Tuesdays, Immediate Mental Health Care for Adults in Rural Nevada, we're discussing an excellent program we have in rural Nevada called the Rural Clinic's Immediate Mental Health Care Team. Here to discuss this very important program, we're joined by Michelle Sandoval, LCSW Program Manager of the CARE Team, and as always, Crisis Support Services of Nevada's Executive Director, Rochelle Pellissier. Michelle, thank you so much for joining us to talk about the CARE Team. In my work with Rochelle, I know that the CARE Team is one of her most favorite programs, so it's just an honor to have you on the program today. Thank you both so much for having me and for this opportunity to be able to share with rural Nevadans this um, great resource. And Connie, as you said at the beginning, oftentimes these conversations revolve around lack of resources. And so, so important that we get the message out there um, that there are resources available for people in rural Nevada. So I really appreciate the opportunity. Can you tell us about the rural clinic's immediate mental health care team? The immediate mental health care team, or as we call it, the care team, it's a fairly new program. Um, it's housed underneath the Division of Public and Behavioral Health under rural clinics. And it started in November of 2019. Um, the program, it offers a toll-free number um, for adults anywhere in rural Nevada who are needing immediate mental health care um, and don't know where to turn. And so they're able to call this toll-free number that's answered by Crisis Support Services of Nevada staff and volunteers. It's for anybody in rural Nevada, no matter where they're located in a, in a frontier area, it's available for everyone in rural Nevada. What I love about the care team is that they can call us at Crisis Support Services of Nevada. We do what we always do. We de-escalate, we listen, we help them, we safety plan if they need it. And then we can immediately get their information and reach out. We, we, we send it over to the clinicians on duty with rural clinics and with the care team. And they'll get back to that caller or texter Within 15 minutes, nowhere else in the state do we have a program that gets a clinician to someone in crisis within 15 minutes. So this to me is one of the very best underutilized programs out there. Absolutely, Rochelle. And in talking about, you know, I really want to emphasize the word team because we have partner with Crisis Support Services of Nevada, which is that first starting point. So when an adult in rural Nevada calls, they're getting that caring volunteer or staff member right there from the beginning. And then if, as it's handed off to the care team, we have a group of amazing experienced clinicians who are highly skilled in de-escalating crisis and really helping stabilize mental health symptoms immediately. Then we also have a crisis case manager who's available and she's worked in rural Nevada for years and knows the resources in all the communities. So she's able to quickly get people connected to whatever resources they might need. And then of course we have an administrative assistant. That's the glue that holds the program together. I just love this because if those people who are, if you're in Reno or in Vegas, you may forget that we have this enormous rural community that is really what makes up our state. And I know that, as we mentioned earlier, we talk about a lack of services. This is really providing extra services for those rural communities. How does the state pay for the care team program? So the program is funded at the last legislative session in 2019 through Healthy Nevada Funds, which utilizes tobacco settlement money. And it's to help services for the well-being and health of all Nevadans. 
So it's funded through Healthy Nevada funds right now. We talked about the phone call that is first made. Uh, obviously, Rochelle, those at crisis support services, they kind of de-escalate the situation. Then we have uh, a response team that comes back 15 minutes later. I'm just curious. I know oftentimes it might be a video chat or a phone conversation. There are some people that are not familiar or not really computer savvy. How are you working to navigate that for those individuals who may not, say, have a computer available to them? That's a great question, Connie, and one that we get asked a lot because a lot of our services in rural Nevada are done through telehealth or via phone, especially now since COVID has hit, there's so many virtual platforms that are available to help get services to rural communities quickly. And so the care team is one of them. And so we utilize a HIPAA compliant video platform. But the most important thing is each individual caller, we pay attention to what their need is. So some callers might not have access to video platforms in the rural areas. Some people might not have access to a smartphone. Some people might not have access to even get to some place that can that can that we can connect with them to. So we've really, I mean, we can provide intervention via phone. We can help connect with one of their support systems who can help get them to a phone or to some place where we can connect with them so that that treatment can start immediately. We've been really innovative in this program and we've pulled in landlords to come help us we've there's yeah we have to get pretty inventive here but it's all about what that caller needs and so that's what we're really focused on i really love that because it to me it seems like when you're in a rural community you often forget that that community is a family and so very wise in the fact that you're utilizing those as resources. How did the rural clinics um, come up with this care team program? It seems so innovative and ahead of its time. This care team is a program that has clinicians on duty seven days a week from 9 a.m. until 6 p.m. at night. If someone is to call after hours, then we will talk to them about the care team. We'll take their information and then we'll send that information over to the care team and the first clinician in the morning that comes on duty will reach out to that rural Nevadan who, who needs that help. This is a 24-7 program. The clinicians are working from nine to six, but we're always there 24-7 to help rural Nevadans. It's also very important to, to point out that when you're in a rural community, getting to a hospital becomes an additional expense. You're also in a, an, an opportunity to reduce trauma because you're responding to them as quickly as possible. Uh, if you're not at all familiar with the rural community, things are done differently. So it's very important that you have someone outside, maybe that community doesn't have the resources. So this is really an opportunity to remove some of those barriers, am I correct? Great point. And you know, that's one of the things that the care team does is not only do we respond to that initial call that's handed over to us from crisis support services, but that clinician and the team behind the clinician they stay with that person until they're connected to resources. And when I say stay, I don't mean actually stay with them, but it's that warm handoff. So we're following up the next day. If that caller needs someone to call them three times a day, our clinicians are calling them three times a day to help stabilize them. The care team stays with that caller until their needs are met, until they're into, if it's outpatient services, you know, sometimes we aren't able to stabilize and safety plan a caller, and then we'll help hospitalize for their safety. Um, and we'll help facilitate that because the mental health system can be difficult to navigate. As a professional in the system, there's communities that I'll walk into and I don't know what the resources are, and I don't know who to call or how to get help. And so we really want to be that no wrong door for rural Nevada adults who they can call and they can say, I need help and we know how to help them while they're concentrating on getting well. The closest person could be miles and miles and miles away, let alone a service. This is really helps them to connect and get that advocate, that person to help them get the services they need. So that's why I love this program so much. It seems to me that it's just another, yet another resource that you're providing to them. We've de-escalated this situation, but we want you to know that we've got wraparound services 
that are coming to your aid. What are some of the responses that you're getting from callers? Are they surprised that there's even a service like this that's available? Absolutely, they're surprised. They just have no idea. They don't. They don't even know where to go. That you know, with as we all remember, when you're in a crisis, it's really hard to think straight. So even if you weren't in the crisis, this is a hard system to navigate. We immediately go into, hey, we can get you this this hands-on help immediately. They might be scared, but it makes them happy that we have a way to warm link them. And by warm link, it's not giving them phone numbers and saying, you call and figure this out. It's let us hand you off to the care team clinicians so that they can then take take your care and and move forward. That's what it looks like. So if you're in rural Nevada and you're anxious feeling in a crisis or your child or your loved one is anxious or feeling a crisis, reach out. You want to reach out to either the number that we're going to provide to you for the care team, because that'll come directly into us, or just reach out to crisis support services at any of our numbers. We don't just recommend people who call it, only people who call in on the care team line. Anyone that calls in from rural Nevada that calls into any of our lines, we now recommend the care team. So we're now figuring out how to how to use this resource across all of our different programs. So that's what's exciting. And, and just to continue to say to anyone watching this, we're here for you. So please reach out and we'll get you connected. Rural communities, they have such a deep rooted connection. They become a family. My son-in-law and his family live in a very, very small community in Kansas where there's 400 people in their town. And they are a family. There's a community that is, is there to support and love one another. And I can tell you that after my, my daughter's uh, suicide, when they moved back to Kansas, it was the community that loved them and took care of them and provided for them. And again, as, as Rochelle was saying, keep in mind that if you are calling crisis support services and then there is that handoff to the care team, most likely there are people that you know, there are people that are within your community. So you can feel very comfortable knowing that these individuals, they know you, they know your family, they know the circumstances that you're living in. And I think that also can bring a lot of comfort to those individuals. That's one of the things when designing this program is we wanted to make sure that people who live in rural Nevada have the same quality of services as people in our urban areas. I myself have worked in rural Nevada for over 20 years. I know these communities. In fact, I don't think there's a community I haven't visited or haven't been to. I love rural Nevada. Our case manager, again, has worked in rural Nevada for years. And the clinicians, they've also worked in rural Nevada for many years. Not all of them are still located in Nevada, but that where they began their practice, that's where they spent the majority of their time practicing. And so you do, you have a team that's like a family here in rural Nevada. I think this is a, another testament to home means Nevada. And that means home wherever that home may be, whether you're in rural Nevada or whether you're in Reno or in Las Vegas, you have a, a group, a community. I always like to refer to anyone that works with crisis support services or the care team. It's warriors that are there for you. They're individuals that believe in being there for one another and what you love about being in a rural community is that sense of rootedness. You have a sense of community, you have a sense of family. And it really seems to me, Michelle, that that care team is embracing those rural values and you're bringing those values in every call that you answer. Every, every single individual is going to get that, that real, I guess you could say that down home rural hug from that community, because that's exactly what this is. It is the people that you know and you love that you relate to in that small rural area that are there for you and understand that it's okay to not be okay. And uh, again, a, a part of this is about erasing that stigma and understanding that we want you, no matter where you are, to know that there is someone that is on the other line that cares about you, that values you, and that will be there for you during that crisis. We've worked really hard to partner with 
community providers and community resources from rural communities to our larger urban communities who can bring different types of telehealth into the rules. And so that quality of care shouldn't be compromised just because you live in a rural area. And so we really pay close attention to that. And, and also making sure that we're looking for a good fit for that caller. Connecting to a mental health provider that you feel comfortable with is so important. And so that's one of the things that we're very conscientious about too, is, is really listening to that caller and what they're needing and what they're wanting, and then trying to make that best connection for them again, no matter where they're at. How do rural Nevadans get access to the care team program? There is a toll-free number, 877-283-2437. If you call that line, you're going to get connected to the care team. But as I talked about, if you call crisis support services on any of our lines, we're going to get you connected to the care team. I want to say a very special thank you to your incredible team. And one of the things that we talk most about with Talk It Out Tuesday is always knowing that there is someone there, whether you pick up the phone and you call crisis support services at 1-800-273-8255, there's someone there immediately to respond to your crisis. And now we have this other entity, this other amazing group of care individuals And they are there for you as well in that moment of crisis. And we just encourage you to continue to to reach out and to know that it's okay. And to know that everyone on that phone line, no matter who you get, whether it's the immediate call or response from crisis support services or the care team calling you back, these are people that want to make sure that you're okay. As we wrap up, I also want to remind everyone that crisis support services and of course the care team, it would be absolutely wonderful if you were to remember they're a nonprofit organization. You can make a donation to crisis support services. You can visit their website at any time. You can go to cssnv.org. Of course, you can contact the phone number again is 1-800-273-8255. Or you can text CARE, and that number is 839863. Of course, you can also just head right to their website at cssnv.org. Once again, charitable organization for all Nevadans, all people across our nation can reach out to that number. Thank you again, Michelle, for everything that you're doing in our community. And thank you for joining us for Talk It Out Tuesday. Rural Clinic's immediate mental health care team, you are doing great work, and we just graciously thank you for for sharing with all of our viewers what you're doing. You're making our state a better place to live. You're giving hope to individuals. And we hope that all of you will remember there is a team that is there to help you when you're in crisis. Make sure to join us for our next Talk It Out Tuesday. We'll be with you on February 23rd for our next regular scheduled episode of Talk It Out Tuesday. And thank you so much for supporting Crisis Support Services of Nevada.